so I'm back with the hair update as usual and um, I know it's been a minute I'm sorry but I haven't really felt like creating much and I haven't had the time to do so um, I want to get better at that but for now y'all just gonna have to take what I give you <laughs> but um so today I'm gonna talk about my locket extensions these are extensions and um I got them installed the end of July, basically because um, I got married in August. And although I had already started my locks, I just wanted to make sure that I had some length to do what needed to be done for the wedding, okay? <laughs> so um, yeah, they have been great. Um, they've been in a couple of months now. Um, like they've been awesome. Um, just being able to get up and go people think that they are my real locks even people that have been growing their locks for years i'm like okay well my loctician she understood the assignment okay but but um there are some things i don't like and i am actually ready to take them out so for starters um with the maintenance because they are um still a little fragile i didn't want to maintain them myself I wanted the loctician that installed them um, to keep up the maintenance, but because of her hours and my scheduling and my kids, it's just, it's not working. And she always stays booked up. Like she doesn't even have any, um, any openings for October at all. And I tried to book with her like two weeks ago for October and she has nothing. So I'll have to go on the wait list and I'm like, okay. So, um that's becoming an issue for me i didn't want to go to anyone else because they don't you know they didn't install them so um yeah that's becoming an issue uh the other thing is um so like my hair is good my hair is healthy but in the front my hair is like very it's it's shorter and my hair is very delicate in the front like it's curly and like just super soft right I don't look a mess right now, but yeah, <laughs> it's super soft, right? It's literally baby hair for real, like all right here, right? Not bald, just baby hair, okay? <laughs> so in the front, it's like, although the locks are not heavy, but like up in the front, like some of my um, roots are a little thin only because I think the lock is pulling on like those delicate areas and I want to take them out before it gets any worse um, and mess up my hair for real because I don't want to cut my hair, right? So um, that's like one of my biggest concerns. Um, the next thing is just like there's nothing wrong with lock extensions, but because I've been on this journey before, there's nothing like growing your own locks. Like going through those different stages, going through those different hair lengths, like... Um, with these it's just like boom you got locks right so most of the time my hair stay up in a bun because i don't want it in the way and it just that's just where it stays it's either like this or it's down in a bun or like sometimes i like put it in braids to get like the crinkle look or whatever but yeah whereas when you're growing it naturally you go through all the fillings you go through all the little cute styles right and then your locks are also unique to your hair. So like with these, it's just like, like I said before, boom, you got mature locks, right? But when you're going through your journey with locking up your own hair, you go through like the fizzy stage, you go through the cute curly stage, you know, you can do all those cute little styles in between. And like, I can't do that with hair and I miss that. Like I, I do miss that, I miss that a lot. Um, so like, I just feel like you have to put in more effort once your hair is matured or you have to make sure you get out that little stage where you're like, well, I want to try this cute little style. I want to try that style, right? Because it definitely doesn't look the same. So I do miss that. Um, and another thing is I think, well, I didn't think, I know I want my locks smaller. So, um, at one point I was doing like the micro braid locks, right? And that is is what I'm going back to. So I want to do like the micro um, braid locks and that's just what it is. So 
I'm going back to that and I'm sticking with that because that's just the that's the look that I want. Um yeah, so it pains me because of the amount of money I spent on my hair. But it's it's not it's just not what I want, right? It served its purpose and I could just chalk that up to a wedding expense. Pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, so if you are thinking about doing lock extensions, just make sure that that is really what you want. Make sure that you have the right size, the right length. Most importantly, make sure that your hair is healthy enough to hold the locks. And um, make sure, just research, research, research on your loctician before she installs them because most people now, they just see money, right? Because they can make a killing off of doing this. But, you know, it's so important not to mess your hair up. I, I don't care how good they look, right? And not saying that's the case with me, but it's just, you know, I know what my hair can handle and I don't, I'm not liking, you know, what's going on up here. Although I haven't lost any locks, I haven't lost any hair, and that's why I want to take them out now before I get to that point. Because if that happens, I'm just going to cut my hair off and I really don't want to do that. <laughs> so yeah there's nothing wrong with doing the lock extensions like they are good they are great they are fun they are such a lifesaver but just make sure that it is the look that you want okay but yeah so that's what's going on with me y'all i love these things i really do but it's just not giving me the feels of a real lock journey like it's just not. Um, but yeah, I mean, she did a good job installing them or whatnot. And here's like a closer look so you can see. Let's see. So like you can kind of see like all this is mine, right? And then the lock kind of starts like right up in here, which you can kind of tell when I point it out. But like if you're from far away, you can't really tell, especially if my hair is like freshly done. So yeah, she did a good job, but it's just not what I want. So um, I asked her about taking them out, right? And she was just like, well, it's easy to do. You could just cut them out. You just have to see where the lock starts. And I'm like, okay. So <laughs> like, okay, so um that's what i'm gonna be doing i guess i'll be doing that today i don't know i'm just kind of dreading it because after i take these out i gotta put in the micro those micro locks so it's gonna take a lot of time i'm gonna try to update y'all through the process and we just gonna see how this goes but yeah that is that it is time for these extensions to go i'm gonna hold on to them simply because I paid too much money for them. But I don't know. I forgot what I'm gonna do with them. But for now, they got to go. And I'm gonna do this naturally. If y'all have any questions about it, about who did them or um, where I got my extensions from, just leave a comment and I will drop the information and hopefully y'all will see me again soon with an update and that is that for now talk to y'all later